some districts across southwest Missouri are sending letters to families and staff about social media threats posted online. Springfield Public Schools was one of the first to take action today. Chris Bryant is live with the details and more on what those letters say. Chris? Yes, Lee. Shortly before 10 o'clock this morning, Springfield Public Schools sent an email to family members and staff, and an email letting them know that SPS had received word about and made aware of social media threats online and was working with law enforcement about those. So we very much appreciate those who stepped forward to make sure we were aware of these posts. Stephen Hall, the chief communications officer with the Springfield Public Schools, says some SPS families notified the district about some social media posts that alarmed them. We were able to begin an investigation, including our school police officers, and we were able to determine um, that there is no credible threat at this time in Springfield. The email to SPS says, as our investigation continues, we remind you that it's important to refrain from reposting on social media or spreading rumors about possible threats. This can create unnecessary distraction for school leaders and police as they investigate. So we felt as a district it was appropriate to remind people that yes, uh, reporting concerns is so important, but we also want to remind people the best way to report it, to make sure that it reaches the people who can conduct the investigation in the most thorough and timely manner. And that was the purpose of today's communication. SPS says if you have any specific information about the related social media posts to report it, you can do that in several different ways. Call school police at 417-523-2911. Text the anonymous tip line at 417-319-2901 or contact your school principal or another school administrator. With other districts in the Ozarks sending similar letters, Hall says districts have been made aware of the social media threats. I don't know what prompted uh, others to send the message. I do know that Courage to Report, for instance, um, notified a number of districts across Missouri about the trends that they were observing. And I think that uh, notification, uh, in combination with some of the concerning phone calls from parents that were reaching out, just led each of the districts to make their own decision about what was the right method and the right timing to share this information. The Republic School District is another district trying to keep parents and staff informed. It also sent an email out this morning saying in part, Republic School District administrators and school resource officers were made aware of potential safety concerns at Republic Middle School related to a threat made outside of school between students. RMS administrators and the school police team quickly and thoroughly investigated this issue, determining that the threat was not credible. The situation was handled according to district policy. However, inaccurate information continues to circulate. It went on to say, we would like to continue to encourage our students and school community to report anything that could constitute a threat to school safety. Now, the Kansas City field office of the FBI also sent me a statement that reads, the FBI takes potential hoax threats very seriously because it puts innocent people at risk. We work closely with law enforcement partners to determine their credibility, share information, and take appropriate investigative action. As always, we encourage members of the public to remain vigilant and immediately report anything they consider suspicious to law enforcement. Now, we know that other districts also sent similar letters out to their families and staff today. However, it is important to remember that the letter that Republic sent out was involving a separate threat or separate incident that happened before school started this morning and was not connected to any social media post. For more information or for how you can respond or report a threat, if you know about one, we have links inside this story at ky3.com. For now, in the newsroom, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.